The architects were wrong Their blueprints were bare They left us here to guess We threw our hands in the air And oh, what a mistake we've made We've learned You never know someone till they show their face When I go As Mr. Popper, I, I create objects out of found objects. Um, I call them dead objects. Uh, the idea being I create them out of things that are no longer being used for their initial purpose. Um, it's upcycling in the weirdest way. Um, I love treasure hunting. I love looking through thrift stores and antique shops and open fields and old military you know, uh, dumps and stuff like that. Um, to find objects, and I, I'm not, people ask me why I'm drawn to the objects I am, I don't know. Uh, I can tell you that whole story too, but I think mostly it has to do with, I, I'm just, I love the way some objects feel, the way they feel in my hand, the way they have a new story. Um, and I take those things and I create stories. In a lot of ways, I'm exploring what I believe. Um, I have the Popper's Orphans uh, that are, are, are things that have come to, to comfort me. Um, I have the Popper's Knights that are, are my way of creating barriers between the, the, the light and the dark. Um, they protect me from my darkness. Um, I have the Popper's Flock that is what I'm, what I'm exploring, religion and what God is, what God means to me. The roles of apostles and prophets and leaders and counselors and should I listen to them or should I not? Are they important or are they? And what are the, f the figures of those? Um, yeah. And then I have the popper's creatures. Uh, my art, my work is dark. It's a really it's a good mix of light and dark. Um, a whimsical nightmare. Um, I don't mean I don't try to keep that line. The more I try, the more I fail at it. But it is true, I, I, I walk a line where my, I wanna give new soul, new life to objects. And sometimes that comes out in darkness. Um, and sometimes it comes out in hope. Um, I never truly set out to make a piece. I think a lot of times it just comes um, thankful for that. Because sometimes I feel like, Shit, am I gonna be able to make, make a piece today or, or has it all gone? I've been made my last piece. Um, that's really fucking scary, but good. It's good because it keeps me on my toes. It keeps me being honest with myself, and my work. Um, you know, but for me, the most important thing is to, to keep a narrative. Uh, you know, when people come and see my work, my hope is they'll create their own narrative and be interested in mine if it's something important to them, but that they'll have attached to a piece because it speaks to them. Um, and I'm okay with that. I don't want to control that. I'll create the narrative on my side, but knowing that they may create a complete narrative for somebody else. Um, my work's honest. I try to be honest. Um, it's not perfect. Um, it's dark and light. most importantly it's about the opportunity to connect with another person um, I love people I love souls I love making art that people walk into my world and we get to connect a complete stranger I can talk about art and they can talk about how it means what it means to them and that for 10 15 minutes or two minutes or a lifetime we connect souls and it's through art and that is beautiful, <laughs> and that is light. And so I'll keep on fighting the darkness with that. And I'll
keep on making things out of nothing. And even I may succeed and have money and be a successful artist, I think for me, I'll always have a studio full of things that everybody else threw away. And I'm okay with that. And I'll build a new